Just days after another swimmer was bitten by a sea lion in San Francisco, people were invited for an up-close encounter with them at Pier 39. KBX 5's Jackie Ward live at Aquatic Park, where some of those marine mammals have been getting a little too close for comfort. Jackie, stay back. Yeah, they sure have. I know I'm staying on shore, Brian. You know, sea mammals or sea lions rather are supposed to be big, goofy sea mammals that bask in the sun at Pier 39. They're not supposed to be violent animals that attack the swimmers here. So there has to be a reason as to why they're doing it. But what that reason is, is up for debate. For years, tourists have come to San Francisco to visit its well-known landmarks like Alcatraz. But for 28 years this January, they've also come to see a louder, more blubbery attraction, the sea lions. The docks that you're seeing are actually built for the sea lions themselves, so boats aren't able to tie up there, people aren't able to simply walk across, um, so they can have a really safe place to rest and haul out and then go hunting for their food whenever they feel like it. That hunting happens in places like Aquatic Park, the same place swimmers use to get in a workout and enjoy the outdoors. Lately, that coexistence has turned violent, as some swimmers have gotten too close to an area called the jacuzzi on the northern part of the cove. That happens to be a popular feeding area for sea lions. The latest incident happened on Thursday when a fourth swimmer made contact with one of the animals. But the National Park Service isn't concerned. None of the behavior that we're observing um, appears to be erratic or unusual for a California sea lion. This is herring season and sea lions love herring. So one theory behind the biting events is that the sea lions are becoming territorial over their food. You're going to get interpreted as a member participating in that food web or you might be interpreted as a competitor for something in that food web. Christian Einfeld was bitten on the arm back in December and calls this cove the fountain of youth. He hopes to get back in the water next week, but with a little more caution this time around. Don't give up swimming. Just be smart. Turn around. Look behind you. Don't let them sneak up on you. Stay shallow so that you can exit the water if you need to. The State Department of Fish and Wildlife says that we are in the thick of herring season right now. It starts in December and lasts through about the end of February. So swimmers, beware. Live at Aquatic Park in San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.